For this question, we are supposed to find what is the potential energy of this charge distribution. Um, potential energy is the work done to bring a charge from infinity to that point. Okay, So to get this configuration out, it means right, we have to bring in the charges from infinity to that point. Okay, Or rather, we can think about it that way. So we'll do it in four steps, uh, each step bringing in one charge. So the first step right involves you bringing in charge one okay, from infinity. Uh, any work to be done here? Uh, no, because right, there is no uh, other charge setting up E-fill. Okay? So step two, once you have uh, the first charge, right, which is one, you bring in two. Okay? Then right, there will be uh, work to be done. So that will be U12. Once you have um, two, one and two there, and now you bring in three, from infinity in then you will have right u13 and u23 okay then finally step four right once you have all three and you bring in the fourth one okay then you will have u14 u24 and u34 if you are familiar with this already right you simply uh, have to work out the permutations right of all these uh, four charges so it's actually right four choose two so you get uh, six terms in total so in general it's n choose two so now let's work out the um, values we know the formula right u is equals to uh, q1 q2 over uh, r okay of course with the k in front so we can actually take out most of the common term because right here they will always involve uh, q square they will all involve Q and they will involve A. Um, across the diagonals, right, the distance is square root 2 A. So with that, right, we can work out um, what is the sum of all the potential energy. So we'll have right K Q square over A times of what's inside the bracket. 1, 2, right, is a plus 1 times a minus 1. So you have a minus 1. Okay. 1, 3 will be a uh, plus and a plus so it's a plus one then one um, two three right will be across the diagonal and is a plus times a minus so you have minus one over root two one four will be um, plus and a minus across the diagonal as well okay so minus one over root two again then two four will be uh, minus and a minus so it's a plus one three four will be a plus and a minus so it's a minus 1. So it turns out right that um, the things that's outstanding are the two 1 over root 2 terms. So we we'll have right uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught okay q square and we have 2 times of the root 2 term so turns out right that this will be uh, a and you have a square root 2 on top okay and that will be um, Answer will be A.